Jedi is actually here with more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And boy, in the last episode, things were definitely getting kind of, well, there was an action, well, there was an action episode, and there was a uh, plot convenience episode. That's what I like to call those sections. Basically, of course, we got to see Envy return and how great he was, but turns out that pretty much in the midpoint, he pretty much had uh, the tables turned on him, and he was resort to um have no choice but to transform, only for Marco to actually show that, hey, I'm not going to be weak, any I'm not going to be the weak, let's help us dock anymore. I'm taking you down, big lizard. And he does. And uh, Envy, turns out, was actually a small lizard the whole time. They'll feel pretty bad for the poor little thing. Don't worry, he'll be coming back. Don't worry. And, well, as for Ed, well, let's just say he's doing kind of pretty okay. The fact that his wounds are actually doing okay. And, well, and pretty much Al's in Lior. Along with his dad. So, um, that's, that pretty much sums it up. So, um, on to the, also, we did get to see Greeling again. And, boy, that was some memory gaining, man. It was definitely not like with Shadow the Hedgehog, where he just had those, um, Chaos Emeralds around. This was definitely an intense moment for him. So, um, let's get to the episode. Starting up the episode with a fight. Alright, rematch! You and Selene, stay back! Well, maybe you can explain this, Wrath. Yeah, he's what really mad. What's happening to me? Why am I seeing these things? They keep I have seen things that cannot be unseen. And why are you there? Why do I remember you, Bradley? And why are you making me mad? Tell me! Why did you destroy so Liam thinks that he could try to... He's gonna get involved in case some things get really bad. Pack rat. Well, it's kind of a hoarder, I guess. In the um, this was this is pretty awesome. Oh god! That's what you call fencing. Okay, uh, for the comma theater, this is actually kind of funny. Um, Reed was gonna try to fight Wrath, but then Salim and Miss Bradley showed up, and they were forming a totem pole. Bradley found him! Family totem pole! Jet seat attack! And his Reed's like, That's enough! Get out of here, lady! <sighs> All the Armstrong Manor! Father? It, okay, first we had that fight, and now we're gonna get another one. Olivia, the sparkles. Since we've last seen one another, and that's all you have to say to me. I'll head the family from now on. You should spend your final doddering frail years in comfort. Thank you for your concern, but I'd plan to make Alex my successor. You mean that sniveling jellyfish? Leave the family affairs to me. Why not take a long vacation in a foreign land? Alex is the head. Would you truly be able to relax leaving things to him? That sounds like the equivalency of, well, Connie talking about lightning. Olivia, Speaking of I which. Didn't know you had planned oh, this. wait. Oh, Alex, perfect timing. Oh. Engage your sister in combat. Oh. Eh? Oh, my God. Acceptable, Olivia. Yes. I'd have it no other way. Yeah, it feels like Connie versus Lightning a bit. At least that's what I've heard. She what? She what now? How can you treat father with such insolence? For shame. Well, Olivia's kind of doing that point here. There's a reason for this. Something big's gonna happen in 
in a mattress, and that's and so yeah, she thought ahead. Don't patronize me, Alex. Your bloated muscles are worthless without a spine. Shall we prepare for our rest? Don't underestimate me. Get over here! Taking the money with. Exotic locale, might you suggest? Well, I'm intrigued to see what Shing is like. Shing. Again, we never go to Shing. Then Shing it is. Fine with you, Catherine. Sure. I am so envy right now. I really, really would like to see what that's like. And speaking of which, if envy were to go there, I bet he would find it nice. Oh, poor Alex. He's really, really not. No take backs, Alex. Are you trying to kill me? What tipped you off, moron? <laughs> Try to hang in there, Alex. Wow. What sort of souvenirs should we bring back for them? Statues seem the most fitting. Large and solid statues. Well, in that, that case, works. I want a statue too, then. <laughs> oh! Yeah, she won. No doubt about it. Whoa, you okay, man? This place is gonna need to get a rebuild. I'm the rightful successor. The family belongs to me. <clears throat> Olivia, why have you become so convivial with the senior officers? How can you? The senior staff is in league. I can determine their complicity with my own eyes. And what have your eyes seen? Have you exiled mother and father to a foreign land so they can't be taken hostage? That's the point. Them lips, man. Get out. She there. was actually thinking. Stay at my mansion with your cowardice. Oh, I feel sorry for this guy. I mean, seriously, he's such a good guy. And what now? Oh, this town from the first anime. And Envy's just hanging in the jar. Oh. I wonder if he was doing one banana, two banana, three banana, four, five banana, six banana, seven banana more. God damn it, I hate that song, but it's the only song I know that can take up the waiting. Traveling back to my own country. Oh yeah. And wait, it's given a lot for stone equivalency of sort of like I don't know, given like a dragon fang or something. Yeah. Eh. All right, everyone. Let's help her out. Hand of her course. Food. You don't this need town. Hey, don't worry about it. Why don't you leave tomorrow? Stay the night and get some good rest. You're more than welcome to use our bath. We can make you some dinner. What about you, Steve? Of You've course. Got rooms now. This Why town literally is. Sure thing. This you town nice is, in fact, the mining town that Ed and Al saved. Mainly Ed. Envy's listening to all this. <laughs> The panda. Feed your adorable little kitty too. <laughs> it's a panda. She's certainly hungry. I get the feeling that she thinks you're her food. Oh hush! Don't be silly. You don't eat people, do you, kitty? <laughs> um, and he's listening to all this, and he's putting his manipulation skills to the test. But they sure are nice, huh? it sounds like you even want to help them. It sounds well, like he's actually being well, best. trying to be helpful. What's your emperor gonna think when you hand over a half-dead homunculus? Oh, boy. That's going to do your clan much good. But you could go to Central. I mean, that's where you can learn the true way to gain immortality. You could even help save all of these people's lives. Oh, well. Oh. Why should you care if they live to die anyway? It's not like it's your country or anything. He gets that from his father, all right? <laughs> He is, he is just so smart. I mean, when he when he does that. If, when he's not getting cocky, he actually can be really smart. Wait, where are you going? I've got to get back to Central. I've got some unfinished business. At this moment, he's crossing on. I'm going to stuff you in a jar once I get to Central. <laughs> That's the equality of Zaz. I philosopher's stone. After that, I'll be whole again. Just wait till I get a stone. That's the equivalency of- wow, well, that's a lot of characters. That's the equivalency of Zaz from Lost Worlds and you're going home in a box! That's literally the equivalency of that. Although I think a jar is a lot more intimidating, to be honest. 
Where are we? Oh, hey, the abandoned this cabin. Hideout before. And you're positive. Oh, this where they fought here. gluttony and envy. I know Al better than he knows oh, himself. Full circle, I guess. This is the only place he would be. Al isn't Feel there. Here. Yeah, you really know. Thank you, DK. We busted our tails for hundreds of miles for an empty house. Actually, gorillas don't have tails, I guess. Hey, Grilling. Ugh. Ouch. That hurt. Ling. I'm Hello, Ling. which one is it? Grill uh Ling! Hey buddy! What's up, Ling? <laughs> no, it's Ling. Yeah, this guy. He's pretty gluttonous, I'll tell you that. He's eating all their food. <laughs> Oh, well, that did the trick. Thanks, Edward. You're too kind. It's amazing. It's uh, a giant fat ass. He ate all of our rations. Well, he, he is pretty much in shape. My name's Darius. And the name's I'm Donkey Kong, and I'm Mufasa. Military, but we wound up getting stuck working with this kid somehow. Now, he saved your lives. Story? Well, let's see. Well, it's really makes sense. Complicated. I'm a homunculus. Eh, uh -huh. at least you're forward with it. <laughs> Seriously? It'll take too I'm long a homunculus. Explain. And what are you doing here? I That's like me saying, oh, I'm friends with two homunculi. I had a falling out with the other homunculi. So I took advantage of his confusion and managed to regain control of my body. I had to get out of Central and needed some place close by to hide, so I... Greeling is actually, is now an anti-hero. It's great. He's starting to fight back. Hey! No, no, no! Hit him no, in the no, head! No, no, no! Fight him back, you idiot! Don't let him overpower ow, you! Ow, ow, ow! Jeez. Listen. That guy beneath Central, the one that they call their father, he's gonna open the portal on the Day of Reckoning. It's an, could be wrong about it's an eclipse! That's what I they're talking about, guys! And when he does, it's the best chance you have to get your bodies back. <laughs> Wait a minute. That makes sense in everything, but... There's a toll that must be paid to even open the portal. <gasps> and why? Why is he opening the portal? <laughs> this day of reckoning. Do you know the exact day he's gonna open it? It's happening. <laughs> Link, come on! Damn it. Soon. I can't hold him much longer. The message. <clears throat> you got it to Lan Fan, right? You gave her the message. The message? Yes. Al gave it to her, and she's doing all right. I don't know where she is, but she's safe. Oh, thank you, Ed. That's good to hear. Well, I'm done for today. Sorry. That's it for me. Wow. Yeah, these two fighting for control over the one body. Yeah. Damn. Pain in the ass, Prince. He needs to learn to keep his big mouth shut. Is that you, Greed? Yeah. What tipped you off? Duh. Don't bother. You can't even scratch me with that thing. Well, see you later. See you later, alligator. Aren't you gonna try to capture us? Huh? Nah. Were I'm you even pretty... listening to anything the prince told you? I'm working on my solo career now. All I'm a lone wolf. Flooding back. So don't give me that friendship crap. I don't want to go through that. Who knows what they do to me if I go crawling back? And I don't really work. Crawling well, in my fast. skin, and these wounds they will not heal. Want to team up with us? What? Mm -hmm. You said I what now? You've got nowhere to go. Why not come with us? This. <laughs> He's having a moment. Team up with you. Then you want me to follow you. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. Up yours, kid. This world Oh my god, my up position, yours, really? <laughs> now it's a different that. story if you want to follow me. You're welcome to join my team. <laughs> team Greeling. That is actually kind of cool. You know, you might as well go with him. You have a homunculus ally for your You'll have a homunculus on your team. It's worth it's Team worth to do it and do it. Do I look that desperate? It doesn't matter how many souls I've got in me. I'm completely alone now. If you're gonna pout about it, why don't you join up with Ed? 
But if you want more, you could always give me my body back. I'll take my place as Emperor of Xing. That should be enough to fill up your emptiness. The ruler of a whole country. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Get over it. Here it comes, villain cliche. That's just not enough. Here it comes. Now ruler of the world. Told ya. I could enjoy that. Alright. The whole world? Yeah, and people will say, Hail to the king, baby! How many times oh wait, do I have I'm in the wrong you. series. I'm Greed, not Ling. It's too difficult to keep track of. I'll just call you Greeling from now on. No! Don't you me, Greeling. I'll follow you. <laughs> that face. Oh you my god. He and Envy girl. made the and best facial reaction. Me everywhere. You've got two chimeras on your team as well. <laughs> okay. So you got two chimeras, an alchemist kid, and a homunculus. That's a good team matchup. <laughs> His face, he's like, really? I have to deal with this? I realized something. I've been a follower ever since I became a dog of the military. I lost my pride a while back. So I'm already used to rolling over on command. And besides, there's too much at stake. I can't let any information you've got slip through the cracks. Uh. <laughs> I really can't let my ego get in the way. You already have an ego. No waste. Lose this. Your temper like this and you're gonna lose my information Old and greed. your brother. <laughs> All right, kid. But working for me means you have to live in the shadows. I don't want to hear any regrets. Give me a break. I've already got a million regrets. What's one more? A million and one. Good, then it's settled. So then you guys are working for me, too. Doesn't seem like we have much choice. I don't care who I follow as long as they're feeding me. So, <laughs> what kind of chimeras are you? I'm part gorilla, I'm part lion. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty and I'm cool. part reptile. Yeah, I've still got Winry's earrings. <laughs> I get the feeling I won't be seeing Winry or Al for a while. Yeah, because the plot demands it, Ed. Day of reckoning, huh? Ragnarok? Or... Oh. Thank you, anime. You we need it, Ed. I'll call you when Mrs. Umi returns from her trip. I can't get any work done with you guys constantly bugging me. This guy. Huh? Hi, Boyd. From Fire Emblem. Hello, Curtis Butcher Shop. Oh, yes, it's almost ready. Five o'clock is five. We'll be back. Well, maybe you could buy something next time. Hmm. Sorry about that. The military's pretty desperate to find you. Yeah. I've got a message for you from Alphonse and some man named Hohenheim. I see. Hey, Sig. It sounds like it's pretty serious. Wait. They're in the frozen area? Yeah, I'll pass it on. The day of reckoning, huh? Yeah. Report to headquarters at once. This is basically characters sort of getting uh grouping together, getting sure. planned up. Just one. Just one. Are you sure? One, one is the loneliest hey, one that you ever do. Point B, who's and attacking? Hey, Zoomy! A housewife! A housewife! An attack <laughs> on the mountain patrolled by a mysterious woman. It's just the same as those attacks 20 years ago. This doesn't look good for the mountain patrol. General Armstrong's gonna kill us when she gets back. Major Miles! At ease. Huh? Well, look at this. An Ishvalan with dark glasses and sideburns, and a big guy with a mohawk. Okay. You just like they said you would. I was starting to wonder how long I'd have to wait for you guys. <laughs> Why don't you tell us who you are? I'm no one special. Just a housewife passing through. But I do have a message for you from Alphonse. Mm. Where can we talk in private? Yes. Oh. It's a okay. message from Alphonse Elric. You should it's call this telephone day. Day. Oh, yeah. the uh, day of telephone the passerby message. This is certainly getting interesting. Hey, Rebecca. Yeah, an officer. Hello there, Rebecca. Your aim is looking fine, yes. but not nearly as fine Sexual as Sexual assault. assault. Really? What do you think you're doing, General Grumman? <laughs> You've got to keep your guard up on the battlefield. Wow, it's a not like Mustang actually does that. Lieutenant Hawkeye, correct? Uh. Oh wait, he kind of did. Hey, Riza, you who over here? Long time no 
Wow. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Aki. I caught wind of a rumor that they're going to postpone the North versus East training exercises. That little border skirmish between Drachma and Briggs has thrown everything off. They've actually decided to hold the drills in the East instead. I heard that from the Fuhrer himself. Aww, it's not fair that you got Colonel Mustang and now the Fuhrer. What? I think it's time. She's to desperate me to find a man. Guy from Central. She's literally oh, desperate to find a man. This is the nicest guy I know. <laughs> Ayate, how can your master be so noble? Oh, poor, poor doggy. Oh, poor doggy. Don't doubt me, Riza. I'm gonna find a nice guy and quit this lousy job. If you say so. Good luck with that. Make sure to tell Lieutenant Havoc I said hello. You got it. Havoc. See ya. Well, I guess they know each other. A message. Well, now she wants me to say hi to Havoc. Huh. Kay. I'm waiting for my condition to stabilize, but I'm thinking about transferring back east. And really? he's still in the I'm hospital. Here. I wish I had a better going away gift, but I'm sure you'll like this. Here you go. Tobacco. Only one per day, though. Oh, thanks, Lieutenant. And I was just about to run out. I'll drop in again soon. Thank you. Oh. Rebecca wanted me to say hello for her. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, and tell the colonel I said hi. Okie doke. Colonel Mustard. You heard the lady. She says hi. Was what the heck is he doing in there? Died? She and I are both under constant surveillance. It'll arouse far too much suspicion if I have any private contact with her. <sighs> oh, yeah. You look like you could use one too, Colonel. No thanks. I'd better take off. No, well, trust me. You can use this one. Oh, hey, the little message and the little message. And what's he's going? But for what? What's inside the message? And Be prepared for the coming spring when the promised day arrives. Hmm. The north and east will make their move. Okay. And. Okay, turns out there's different uh, uh, pictures in this for the credits. See, Winry's helping around in the town. The guys are pretty, the Chimeras and Yogi are pretty much clearing up Lior. Zumi and Sig are pretty much in the Briggs Mountains. And pretty much Mustang and crew pretty much are doing as much as they can when they get back to Central. Havoc's pretty much going well away. <laughs> and Scar and Marco are pretty much crossing the desert. Um, wow. And May? And <laughs> Team Greelang. The... Well, all I'm getting from these are that they're pretty much, um, Kind of coming up with a plan. That's what I'm getting from these. And father, the Armonculite. Ugh. When we're envy could. Oh well, if he's late again, I'll. I guess I'll look. And oh. Mustang just threw it away. A scorch it like a boss. Ugh. Okay, um, wow, shove that, uh, title in my face, will ya? But anyways, uh, I guess you could call it the preparation episode where, uh, characters are kind of getting, uh, re uh, casted and, or at least they call recasted and, uh, shown again and things are taking a turn, all right, but boy, when we get to the 50s, early 50s, you will see exactly where I'm basically just gonna... You all know why. But anyways, uh, let's go on to the next episode, shall we? Okay, guys, we're pretty much on this next episode. Let's see what's up. Oh. Yeah, but... Looming Shadows. Oh, boy, when a line like that goes, or a title like that, you know it's going to involve Celine Bradley. Oh, yes, That's sir. a lot of sheep. It's our beep, beep, I'm a sheep. I say beep, beep, well, I'm a sheep. I say beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Say beep, 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 I'm a sheep. 
Beep, 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 I'm a cow. Say meow, meow, I'm a cow. Say meow, meow, I'm a cow. No. Oh, no. Hey, I'm so sorry. Hey, you guys are 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 so sorry. Hey, you I know, I'm sorry, but uh, I couldn't help but get this fan fix affected. Skype, stop it. Hey, Winry. They're back in Risen Bowl. Still smells like home. What, Automail? And oh no! I know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. Looks like an auto mail bomb went off. Try not to touch the stuff in progress. Oh no. I know this episode. I mean, I know this moment and man service. Uh, it's gotten so dusty in here. Man service. No! Oh, hi, Ed. Wait, what's he doing in a room? Oh, wait, he wanted to eat a sandwich alone in privacy, but... <laughs> Why didn't she hit him or something? This is awkward as it is. Doggy! <laughs> it turns out Greenlink's like a fan of dogs. Wait, you guys are Kimbley's men, aren't you? Hey, I know you guys. You're from Briggs. Uh, you have been following us this whole time? <laughs> Grilling. I like his expressions. Like, really? This is an awkward situation. Looks like a cautionary tale about guns. Don't be a smartass. Tell me why you're in my room. I just wanted some. He's blushing. Eat my sandwich. Sandwich. Will someone shut that dog up? This. Get out of my. <laughs> Greeling, he's doing the thing. He just crosses his arms and just got flamed out. But arrest. Again, Ed, why would you go out with this girl? She's obviously a crazy gearhead. Ugh. You. Uh, yeah, I was worried about you too. I thought Al was with you. You know, I actually prefer Amy Rose rather than he's her. The train station right now. He's At least she doesn't annoy me. The train's gonna leave soon. You might be able to make it if you hurry. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Don't you want to see him? <laughs> well, technically, I'm I get, a fugitive right now. I get what they're talking about here. I can't risk anyone seeing me. But still. At least it's not like in the Pokemon games where people honestly rush you out of your home. Brrr. Beep, beep. The I'm a sheep. sheep festival. Spring Sheep Festival. Back. That's a thing. We'll be leaving in just a minute. Okay. The next time you see your hometown, the skies are really pretty. It's with the eyes of your original body. He has yeah. faith in them. Winry? Hey, Pinaco. Welcome home. Hey, Granny. I hope you weren't worried. I missed you. Nah. So who are these hooligans you brought with? Hooligans! I'm really sorry about all the chaos Who pretty much here? stays hooligans We're nowadays? So oh wait, that still is a thing. We've been acting as Miss Winry's Oh my god, is she flirting with him slightly? Hey, Link. How you doing? What? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you know this guy. Greeling. <laughs> the name's Greed. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, he still got his manners. <laughs> okay. Even if he's a homunculus, he's still capable of eating. After all that went down, these guys signed up to work for me. Why did you come to our house? We're trying to get prepared. His auto mail's in serious need of maintenance, and I need him in peak condition. 
Well, there is a. I guess you could say this is sort of a uh, preparation for the final battle what's to come. Or the big battle what's to come. You know, like in usual RPGs or something like that. You don't say. Lior's getting up and running again, huh? Yes. Good to hear. I was nervous they might not. So, why is Stop that making your gesture, Ed. Know? Seriously. Why are you trying to make your gesture? Details, but the northern troops are hatching some plan in the east. Al figured he could help out, so he volunteered to tag along. I see. He ran into your my hand. In York, Look at my hand. Central now. I think he's headed for some slum named Kanama. You ought to go there and get the full story from him. Ed. You know, it's almost the promised day. Ling and Greed told me all about it. It could give us a chance to get our bodies back, but it's most likely going to result in catastrophe for a mistress. Of course. Listen. It's going to be a heavy thinking time. What is it? I want you to take Granny and Den and leave the country for a while. They're not going to do it. Ah, really? Again? Why would you have to? Okay, I said hit him before, but not now. You need to try to save everyone. I'm going to do everything I can to stop it, but there's a chance it might not work. I don't want to hear any doubts from you. Guys, seriously. Please, Ed. You can't let them go through with this. Just tell me you're going to stop them and save the country. I want to hear you say that you're going to protect the country and then get your bodies back. Do whatever you want. Winry, you're putting a lot of faith in him. But, and jeez, he is tall. The, his only character is his height development. Sound like because, hawk short you guys. Time to start doubting yourself, Ed. Listen to me. Uh, Screw the milk. I, I am a tall grown up. Edward? Ugh. Shut up, Winry. Hey, <laughs> Breeling. Oh, man. She's a peach. Sounds like she wants everything. A rotten peach at that. Kind of girl. That kind of wanting is dangerous. It's not how reality works. Take a look. This is what I got for wanting something unrealistic. I disagree. You want to bring back someone that you've lost. You might want money. Maybe you want women. Or you might want to protect the world. These are all common things people want. Things that their hearts desire. desire. Greed may not be good, but it's not so bad either. He's not wrong Most on humans that. Humans think greed is just for money and power, but everyone wants something they don't have. He's talking about envy! Greeling, are you talking behind my back? Because when I get there, you are so dead! A million times! You're leaving in the middle of the night? We're actually planning Things go bump in the night. Wherever you want this, go you hard and you got this Bump, bump, bump in the night. Also, I noticed that Ed's wearing a ponytail now. Wow, he's looking more like his father and less like how he is. I need to lay low until the promise day passes. This. We're gonna stop them, Winry. And Al and I'll be home before you know it. Have an apple pie waiting for us. That's that's sexist. No, certainly that's what animation says, not me. I just thought I quote it. <laughs> Yoki, he's like walking like a zombie or something. We're wasting our time right now. We should be getting ready for the promised day. By doing what? We're still waiting on Marco and Scar. It's 2012, guys! And What's they're right there! Hey, Marco. Hey, Scar. What's up, oh. man? Oh! Doctor. Well, it's you guys. Yeah, pork it, guys a pork roast and beef cake froggy. You tell us what took you so long? There's no time. Well done, froggy. Well we done. You and your pork roast friend sure did a lot. You know... It's this is gathering and planning to take on the uh, people at Central. And here we are working with an Ishvalan dissident. Yeah, I know. We were this is the weirdest the team up I've ever seen. But hey, whatever yeah, works, go with it. And while Scar has got every reason to hate this country, who'd have guessed an Ishvalan like him would be here fighting to save it right along with us? You've got it all wrong. I'm not trying to save your country. No. I'm changing it. He's got a point. 
I want a mistress to acknowledge what it did to my people. And I want to make sure that it's important. And I will open so that again. animal pet if shop. If you truly dream of changing the world, you must first be able to change yourself. Hey, he's fallen! It's a simple rule of life. There is fallen. But how? What took us so long? Is this is what I like to call another months. preparation for the promise date. It's this a get together, to guys. These are our allies for this. Oh, say can you see by the dust of evil? The surrounding hill and the twilight. And the dust is rotten and us is treated the night. That our flag was still there. Oh, stay the the star sprang ever away. Of oh, the land and of the free and the home of the free. That was a board kids natural anthem, guys. <laughs> Tell me how I did. And sorry if I screwed up a few things. Huh? It's night time. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I guess another one's coming back. Al? Are you okay? Oh no. I guess, to I guess Truth is pretty much just like, oh huh, boy, when is he gonna get, try, when is he gonna get his soul back? I mean, seriously. Uh oh. You know, I think for this upcoming homunculus. I smell him! Gluttony I smell the full metal alchemist brother, the little armored boy. He's back! Wait, how the heck did he smell him all the way through Central? I can't fight him right now. Not in this condition. Ow! Oh no! Salim! He's there too! Yes, I knew he would show, but. Sweet kitty, warm kitty, give me a pass, you see. Ow, this is. Oh no! No, not now. Not He's going now. unconscious. Oh, I hate you, you little brat! And <laughs> he doesn't look glutton. He's doing what I'm doing slightly. Step, Alphonse. Just take it nice. Rest your head, my little we'll sheep. On the promised day. Bed, it's time for bed. I'm alchemist. sorry, but I had to. Full Bradley with the alchemist. teacup, and he's looking intimidating. Yeah, I pretty much have my own Dino Piranha, guys. I had this little guy for a little Good while. Evening. Mind if I intrude? Hey, Colonel Useless. Just don't expect me to offer tea or anything. I'm not British, for crying out loud. Just to warn you, I'm gonna have time to take you out to dinner soon. It so went Mustang, seriously! All, huh? The promise day is near and you're all and you're having this time to flirt with a lady? I've gotta say Good your grief. mansion is enormous. Very fitting for the wow, Armstrong. Family. What a mansion. It's and I thought Angel Island was impressive. Oh wait, it's still impressive. You seem to be rather enamored with it, Kurt. It's almost okay, I'm, I'm imagining like if something uh, an alternate version of Knuckles hidden on Conger and Storm, and this is the results. You mean you don't plan on leaving it to your brother? If I no. had to decide between the two of you, I'd rather you have it. Try not to take that as a compliment. And give it the choice between the two of you. It, oh hell no! I'm going with the Armstrong guy. At least he wasn't. It's a little oh my God! The flowers are in shape of hearts. I just noticed that. That is actually a pretty cool looking uh, flower. Flower suck ass. Celine Bradley is a homunculus. Okay. Celine Bradley is a homunculus. 
Thanks for reading that. You know what they represent? Those hyacinths. Know what they mean? Mm hmm. I don't. This. They represent ladylike charm. Get off my property! Thank you. <laughs> and I'm surprised you didn't kill him. Oh, I thought you'd like them. So long. Uh. That little punk. No kidding. I get This is beyond frustrating. I feel so helpless. Why don't we just accidentally blow up the tower Bradley's in? Please don't do that, sir. Major Miles, sir. So you haven't had any luck locating Alphonse Elric. Oh no. no. That's because he was taken. Area, but do you think they might have caught him? The promised day is tomorrow, so let's hope not. Oh, and get this. Sir? It takes mm -hmm. a few episodes General for a General whole Lincoln. night and a whole day. Yes, I am not I'm making it up. Day. How General many Brunson hours go by in just a few episodes? I've anticipated the General's next move. Uh -huh. Actually, the threat of a joint coup d'etat is just a decoy, sir. A distraction. Their plan was to draw the bulk of the military's divisions and attention away from Central. Ishvalan terrorists are gathering to attack the city. Hmm? Afterwards, General Grumman will invade Central under the pretense of stopping the terrorists. The General then plans to ally with Colonel Mustang amidst the chaos in order to take control of Central Command. That sick son of a... Beach. According to the latest report, a large number of Ishvalans have been seen gathering in the slums outside of Central, so we have evidence to support General Hakuro's intelligence. Hakuro! This general guy. Prepare the train to depart for Central. I'm leaving you in command. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, we train. Mustang's treacherous. Yes, Kane with him. Wasn't enough to strip him of his pawns. We should have put him down in the first place. Yeah. Okay, this. What's happening? Sheep crossing. We've stopped. What's going on here? Another reason why I hate the countryside. It's a herd of sheep. We don't have. It's do something fucky in here. Yeah. We secluded the target, sir. Another coma theater, hey, guys. The engine just started moving without us. It did what? Oh, what great. As hey, if I couldn't get any it. more bad luck. This is just a bad summary. Michael Bay. Whale shoot. That worked. He's not dead. But that was a cool explosion. The sheep the tracks, You've been hit by. You've been struck by. A cool explosion. Let's move out. The colonel's waiting for us. Sir! Damn okay. it! Okay. You've been played for a fool, General. They set us up. They attacked the Fuhrer's train. They blew it up over a ravine. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh, that was clever, man! And come on, Hawkeye and the group are getting back together. Woohoo! This is it. Everything. The goes final down battle. It's the one everyone's been now. waiting for. I'm glad the two of you have got. I'm not back. gonna hold back. Hey, anything for you, Riza. Rita. Even if it does mean deserting. Oh man. Fury. Our careers. <laughs> Once the dust has settled, we'll make sure the Colonel answers. For Colonel us. Mustard. Okay. Moving on! Shall we? The Fuhrer's dead? He can't be dead. This has got to be a mistake. The death of the We're king! waiting on confirmation that it's true. So have they even started searching yet? Last I heard, they haven't they even... They start panicking the moment they lose so their leader. Like chickens with their heads cut You're off. Yelling. Gentlemen, this is no time to Doesn't fight. mean turkey. Our commander-in-chief might very well be dead. We're aware of that. This could be my chance. Oh! 
Oh, hi, Father. Wait, let me get in there. I'm here, finally. It's a genuine honor Ugh. to have you amongst us. I'm pretty... Calm down. Stop panicking. They know. I'm still here with you, and I'm watching over Central. I've been watching you up to this point. I'm sorry, but when you get something like that, you end up with just make the reference. I'm always watching you. And of course, Sloth was there. He's like, Ugh, seriously? I get a short end vacation? Well, at least I'm just being just a guard until, well, until he just makes the command. I guess I'm still counting this as my vacation because I'm not really doing much. So, if you don't mind, Dad, I'm just going to go nap or... But, uh, anyways, yeah. This episode was just mainly about, um, the sort of preparation for the promised day and pretty much the cast sort of getting reconnected. That's basically what these two episodes were. Okay, the first one was actually just, um, planning on what's going on and hearing about this day that's coming up. And, um, this one was happened to be the, um, well... Things are starting to uh, finally come together, and characters are starting to come back. That's pretty much it. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, I'll see y'all in the next episode, and we'll see what exactly goes on.